Oh, hey guys. Stacy here. Have you been doing the staring at a wall while you're AFK thing? I have. Does it work? I don't know. I'm usually AFK. <laughs> but here I am, staring at a wall. I hope you guys do it too. The more of us that do it, the more people will recognize what it means. <laughs> so I was AFK, so I was like, oh, I'll stare at this wall. I think it makes it pretty clear that I'm not active, <laughs> actively doing anything, right? <laughs> oh, well, that's a fun picture. I'm going to take this picture. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Up close and personal. How fun is that? I'm in a giddy mood today. Um, I did a lot of recording today. That's a, Oh, that's another thing I wanted to point out. Anytime I post a video that's not Star Stable, a lot of people get upset. And they're like, why aren't you posting Star Stable videos? Post more Star Stable videos. I will always post Star Stable videos, especially now that I'm working with Star Stable. I do a video for them every week and a video, at least one of myself every week, in addition to the mail. Um, <laughs> I also, I work for a video game news site. So I am constantly playing games, all sorts of games, reviewing games, writing about games. So I figure why not record them and put them online for you guys to check out as well. I'm not shying away from Star Stable. I'm not trying to take attention away. I will always be doing Star Stable. But part of my job is playing a huge assortment of games. I love it. I love video games. All of them. It's my favorite pastime. I'm always doing it. That's why I post other stuff too. I think there's other games you guys might enjoy, like watching, you should check out. Um, I just play a huge assortment. That's why other video game videos get put up, <laughs> not just Star Stable. I would like to do more Star Stable, but it's, it's a time management thing right now, so... Like today I'm going to try and do some quests and in between that record racing so I could do another training video on wolf pepper so keep an eye out for that that'll be coming soon but yeah so i just want to let you guys know please don't be offended when i post videos other than star stable <laughs> it's just it's part of my job it's what i do <laughs> so yeah anyway on with the show oh that's right we were doing something with derek derek buddy <laughs> derek answer to the order didn't you see the helicopter they flew in a huge helicopter loaded down with all the parts for the gondola lift yesterday. They must have flown all night back and forth to get it all done. They were flying in the direction of North Link, so I imagine it has all been delivered directly there. Right over there. Check it out. Yes, sir. While I'm running. Who's excited for Star Sable's birthday celebration coming up? I am. They're going to be doing a lot of stuff. They accidentally released a news story a little early and then deleted it which kind of gave away a bunch of stuff um i feel like it was an accident and that's why they took it down but some of us got to see the updates that are coming and they definitely mentioned lead ropes on their facebook i did not know that was coming that was a surprise i knew about the other stuff but the lead ropes i am so excited because i know that's the thing you guys have been so excited about having that's the number one thing that was the number one requested thing in Star Stable is lead ropes, and I'm so happy that they were able to do it. It wasn't easy, I'm sure, but they got it done! Yes! So, I'm super stoked for everyone. Um, myself too, but I know everyone else has been wanting it more. More than me. For, for me, I'm, ha I'm happy with what we have. I, I would like my horse to be able to jump twice in quick succession easier. <laughs> but lead ropes are cool too. I think it's going to add a fun element to the game, especially for role players. Hey, Foreman Olaf. Mm -hmm. It has gone really smoothly, Cadence. The gondola lift has been delivered. Fantastic! Mm -hmm. The gondola lift was the most important thing, but of course we need a few more things done too. Things that I'll have to do, I'm sure. <laughs> this is the first time I've worked in Yurvik, so I don't know all the local builders here yet. I've spoken a bit with the guys digging the tunnel down there, and we might be able to borrow the equipment we need from them. The first thing we need is an excavator, so we can level the ground where the new station will be built. Ride over and see if we can borrow their excavator. Will do. Wow, look at all this stuff. <gasps> I hope I get to ride it. That's so cool.
Hey guy. We borrow your uh, hey, I hit slow down and he didn't slow down. Wolf pepper. An excavator? Yes, that's what I said. I only have one, you know. You could borrow my excavator if you help me with something. They always want something, don't they? We have a lot of free time up here, so I have a lot of free time to spend on my favorite hobby, video games! Right now, I don't have any good games, but there is a r game I really, really want to play right now. It is the best horse game ever. The problem is I can't seem to find it here on the island. Somebody has to have it. Zombie Horse Pole Bending Apocalypse is what it's called. Find me a copy of that game and you could borrow my excava excavator. Like I said, I have no idea who might want a copy of it. Maybe someone who is interested in pole bending? Oh, who's interested in pole bending? Josh, do you have the pole bending horse zombie apocalypse game? Yes. Mm -hmm. Zombie horse pole bending apocalypse? I have that. Or at least I used to have a copy. Uh oh. Okay. It was a really great game, but a much too scary one for me. The pole bending tracks were so scary they gave me nightmares, but I couldn't seem to stop playing the game, so I threw it away. The problem was I couldn't find a single garbage can in all of Silverglade, not a single one. Eventually I sneaked up behind Jasper's old house and hid it in the old stuff in his attic. He has moved away, so I thought it wouldn't matter. I'm a little embarrassed about it now, so you don't need to give me a hard time about it. The game is probably still there. This is a wild goose chase for a zombie apocalypse game. So, uh, speaking of zombie apocalypse, <laughs> I liked, I, I do play a lot of horror games, and I know not everybody enjoys horror games, so I was actually thinking if I keep them to a specific day, then people will know that the horror games are coming out on Tuesday? I'm thinking Terror Tuesday, because I like to try and do the mail on Monday, Marvelous Mail Mondays, Terror Tuesday. So if I start posting all the scary games, like I'm doing The Walking Dead and, and Outlast on Tuesday, you could be like, mm, I'm going to skip those videos <laughs> if you don't like them. Um, yeah, I'd like to get to, I'd like to get to a point where I'm posting more than one video per day. But for now, what do you think if I stick them all on one single day? Would that help you guys out a little bit? Because I know I post a huge variety, so. Oh, found it. Whoops. Okay. I want to play this game. You don't find the game. But that hat looks familiar. Who did that hat belong to? What hat? You remember that hat? Who was wearing it? No. Is that a hat? James? I feel like he's the culprit in most things. Ah, uh, I knew it. Look at that little sneaky guy. Mm -hmm. Hello, Cadence. Hey, that's my hat. I lost it a few days ago. Where did you find it? At Jasper's old house? It's good that I sell those hats so I never have to be without one. But it was nice of you to ride all the way back here to return it. Zombie horse pole bending apocalypse? I have that. Or I used to have it. James. Hey. I remember now. I thought I would start a used goods market, which would work great here in Fort Pinta, but I need things to sell. I thought maybe Jasper had left some stuff behind that might be good enough to sell, but the only thing I found was that game, Zombie Pole Bending Apocalypse. That must be the best game ever. It was so much fun to play. I played all night and all day, then all night again. I forgot to take care of my customers. It was that good. You know, you understand. I couldn't keep doing that, so I had to sell it. The person who bought it was an older lady from Firgrove. I think her name was Ms. Morse? She said she had never played games before but wondered what it was like. That's a good one to start with. So I sold her the game and my old game console. I'm sure she is in Firgrove if you want to speak with her. Sure. One day, I will be level 11. It will be wonderful. 
Hey, Felicity. She's not an old lady. Miss O. <laughs> Miss Moore, she lives here? We haven't seen her since this morning because she's playing video games. She lives here in Virgrove, but she isn't here now. Yesterday I saw her ride out of here faster than the wind. Her horse was packed with pole bending poles. I've never seen her so riled up about anything. She screamed, Yeehaw! when she saw me and rode up through the mountain pass towards Valedale Lake. Let's giddy up that way. Jeez, this area is a little scary. Oh god, I don't want to fall. Hold up. I want to take in this view. That must be her. But let's take a peek real quick. Wow. That looks so cool. Oh, I bet we can get a better picture from over there. There she is. Look at her horse. I want a horse with red hair. Look at that guy. Hey, guy. Oh, he's so cool. I know. Howdy, yes, I am, Miss Morris. Woohoo, what a game. Zombie horse pole bending apocalypse. I've been up all night playing, and when the sun came up, I knew I had to make a proper pole bending apocalypse race. Just like in the game. But now I'm not sure it's a good idea. Now that the course is done and I've calmed down a little, the course actually looks... Well, it looks really dangerous, actually. I don't think I should be able to ride it myself. You want to have a game? Oh, I, I don't know. It was so much fun! Tell you what, if you can manage to ride my pole bending course, I'll give you the game as a reward. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh no, it's pole bending. I forgot. I can't manage this to save my life. Let's. Oh gosh. Okay. Ah. I'm taking it slow. Slowly. Slowly. Oh no, I did it wrong. Okay, go. Go, go, go. Brambles, oh god, I'm sorry. Full of pepper. That is an apocalypse race. Oh, we're not even done. This is horrible, lady. You're cruel. Ah! Start over. Is this here forever? Is this a race everyone regularly does? Oh, oh no, oh. All I did was bump the thing. Slow. Don't touch the thorny things. Oh no. Tight turn, tight turn. <laughs> Another tight turn. Brambles, I'm sorry. Oh god. Okay, go. Tight turn. Tight turn. Don't hit the barrels, God forbid. Don't hit the barrels. We'll just saunter along. It's cool. Is this the end? God be the end. 
Whew, oh my god. <laughs> that was horrible, lady. Well done, but I, I can't keep the game. It was just so much fun. No, you're right. A promise is a promise. Here is Yorvik's only copy of Zombie Horse Pole Bending Apocalypse. Please ride back to the person who gets to keep it. That was intense. Okay, we have your zombie apocalypse video game. You have no idea what I went through to get it, sir. Hmm. Awesome. I'm gonna play this until my eyes bleed. Oh, the excavator. It'll come. I'll come over with it soon. I'm just gonna test out this game a little bit first. See you in a week. Oh, he's a time clock. It's alright, we'll finish another time. Alright guys, thanks for joining me on another Let's Play Star Stable. We'll get this gondola lift built sometime. I got to see a cool horse and do a wicked, wicked difficult race. How did you guys do on that race? <laughs> as poorly as me? Probably not. <laughs> it was pretty awesome though. Zombie apocalypse pole bending. Horses. Horse, horse zombie. Zombie horse pole bending apocalypse. Sounds like a pretty sweet game. <laughs> And it's funny that it came up when I decided to talk about playing lots of video games. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna record, uh, some of my Minecraft houses. Like, I have a lot. I don't. I have a little bit of Minecraft. I've been thinking about buying Sims 4 because a bunch of people mentioned it. It's currently on sale. So I'm thinking about that. Might be getting a PS4, so... That could be even more games. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye!